Hi everybody, it's me Mrs. Carter and today we're going to use some common materials that you have around your house to turn into sculpture. A sculpture is a three-dimensional work of art that has form. That means it has a height, a width, and a shape to it. It's not flat like a piece of paper. You can walk around it. So you're a sculpture and I'm a sculpture and my chair is a sculpture and your house is a sculpture, right? It's a three-dimensional work of art. And so we are going to use paper bags. If you don't have a paper bag at home, that might be a little bit tricky. Hopefully you do. We're going to use glue and tissue paper. Now, if you don't have tissue paper at home, that's no big deal. You can use gift bag wrapping, like what your parents might use to put for wrapping presents, or you could use other things that are light, like newspaper, magazine things, any paper-like material. I mean, you could use, I wouldn't use precious toilet paper, but you could use something of that nature. So we're gonna take our paper bag, and this is gonna become our tray. I'm gonna open up the paper bag, and I'm gonna stick my wrist inside. And now I'm gonna take my other hand, and I'm going to grab my wrist part, and I'm gonna pull it out. And that, right where my wrist was, is where it's going to become the tree trunk, and this now is the base. So now I'm gonna twist, and remember when you're twisting, you wanna twist in one direction and keep going in that direction, because if I go back and forth and back and forth, it's not gonna work. So I wanna twist forward, twist forward, and now I wanna make it stand. So this should stand, yep, it stands, and now I'm gonna take my hand, and I'm gonna open up just the top of my bag. And I'm gonna press my hand like a fist inside and kind of round it out so it looks like a cup. Don't put anything in that though. And now I'm going to take a pair of scissors or I can rip with my fingers all the way down to my tree trunk. So that was my first rip. And now let me rip again and I go all the way down to the twisted tree trunk part. And I'm gonna keep going and going all the way down to my trunk. Here we go. So now these all become branches. And one more rip. You're not gonna rip all the way down, but you're gonna rip halfway down. So it makes a little Y. Let me do that again. Halfway down halfway down and halfway down and last time halfway down so I have all the way down and then in between half now I'm going to take one of my tree branches the one that's closest to my trunk that part very very close and I'm going to start twisting now this part I'm going to make it look easy but it's kind of tricky so watch twist Twist. Remember, you're twisting in one direction. Don't go back and forth and back and forth. You'll untwist everything you twisted. Twist, and I'm using my finger to hold that tree branch. Twist, and once you get good at it, you can go kind of fast, but you want to squeeze and use your muscles, right? I'm channeling my inner Harold the hot dog. And I want you to keep squeezing and squeezing and twisting. So it's kind of like a twist and squeeze, twist and squeeze, twist and squeeze and I'm starting to make a tree branch. I'm gonna come over here and twist and squeeze. I know my tree branches are getting in the way. Sorry about that. Twist and squeeze. And now I have a tree branch. So let's keep going with that. I'm gonna do this in fast motion. So you might have seen in my fast motion, a piece fell off. No big deal, right? Happy accident. And if you're twisting and it feels like it's tearing, that's okay. Just twist and twist and twist and it will make it stronger because as you're wrapping it around, it's getting closer and closer and becoming stronger. So I retwisted, make sure you twist all the way down, right down to this section here. And then you wanna make sure that your tree trunk has gotten twisted too and you can flatten out the base so that you have a tree. Now, right now my tree looks like it's winter time, but it's spring out. So now I want you to go get something to glue for blossoms. And that's why we need, where did my glue go? I gotta go find my glue. Oh, 
it's right in front of me. So that's why I have some glue here. Now, if you have a glue stick or you have just regular white paper, you could put little pieces of white and it could be a white flower, or you could color it in and then glue that. Now I'm gonna use tissue paper. Let me show you. Hi everybody. So I moved my tree down so you could see, and I have three different colored tissue papers. You can use any type of paper that you have. And I'm just gonna rip a piece up or off, and then I'm going to squeeze it together and kind of make a little tiny paper blob. I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put a little tiny dot of glue right on the end. Repeat after me, a dot is a lot. I do not need more than a dot. So make sure you only put a little dot and then you hold it and let go. And now I have my first purple blossom. And I'm gonna move through to a pink one and make sure that when you're using your glue, you can hear, oh, it's coming off. I could also just put a few little dots in many places to save myself some time. And you can also put some blossoms on your tree branches and you can let some blossoms look like they have fallen on down to your trunk. So here I'm just kind of putting some glue spots and I'm gonna pause, I can always add more spots later and I'm just going to attach my little pieces of tissue paper. Now I could get really fancy and do lots and lots of tissue paper or I could just put a few blossoms. It's totally up to me. It's my tree and I get to decide how many flower blossoms I want. Now what I can also do is I can take a few colors of tissue paper and I can rip a section with all of the colors together. So I have all three on top of each other and I can squeeze all three together and then kind of open it up and loosen it up so it looks like it's a flower with three colors. I'm gonna put that one right here. And I'm gonna hold it and count, especially because this one's really heavy. Uh, count out loud with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it should stay stuck. And I'm gonna keep going around and around, adding different colors as my flower blossoms. Let's do this in fast motion and get through this a little bit quicker. Because once you know how to do that, you don't need me to walk you through every single step. Are you ready? Here is my tree. I think I finished. I looked around lots of different areas. I let some fall right off and down the trunk so it looks kind of like the blossoms were falling on the ground. And you could always, before you twist your bag, you could color your bag in on the back, the front, and the sides, and your tree could be a different color. You could do patterns up it. You could make it look really cool with markers and crayons. I kept mine brown because tree trunks are usually brown and it saved me a step. But if you're looking to make a tree from your imagination, that could be really, really cool. So I hope you have so much fun making your three-dimensional tree sculptures. Bye everybody.